So yes, today is a white hat MAGA day. Okay, we're not on the MAGA period right now. So no red hat. I'm sure you're not happy about that. You hate it. You hate it when I wear the white hat, don't you? Well, you're fake news. Well, today, your president is very excited to announce. We're announcing a great result. After 12 years of total fake votes and tyranny over the Gallup Most Admired Man in America poll, your president, and still your president, has defeated Barack Hussein Obama for most admired man in America with a record 18%, okay? And then you want me to believe that sleepy Joe Biden defeated the most admired man in America? I don't think so. He finished third with 6%, and I'm sure you're going to find, oh, we found 44% extra for sleepy Joe. Not on this one. This is Gallup. You don't mess with Gallup. So we have finally done it. We have defeated both Sleepy Joe and Barack Hussein Obama in the great Gallup poll. And I know, Mike, you know, Gallup, horses Gallup, and you're a big fan of Gallup because you're always on hunglikeahorse.com. You know, our great, very strong fan of Equestrian, our great vice president. That's, for you stupid reporters, that's called horses, okay, when they jump over things. Great sport. Very elite, by the way. Very elite. And in other news that the fake news will hate, but patriots will love, our great attorney, Sidney Powell, great lawyer, is right now arguing the voter fraud case in front of the high court at Medieval Times, which is open with limited seating and social distancing. Got to be safe for the libs. But medieval times, she's arguing very strongly and she's jousting to prove our case. And when she wins, medieval times court will decide that Sleepy Joe stole the election through fraud and I will be both president and Gallup's most admired man in America. So thank you, OAN, for your great support and Newsmax. And to the rest of you, you're losers, and we'll see what happens.